Well, who's the CFO of your household? Surprisingly, many women feel intimidated when it comes to handling money. But Living Well's Lisa Miller spoke with one expert who says we are more than capable of keeping track of the family finances. Many women are afraid of taking control of their finances, but Sam Seiden from Online Trading Academy says women do not need to be so afraid. Sam, why do you think women are intimidated by finances and especially the market? Well, I think, you know, for forever, it's been an industry dominated by males. And uh, there's the illusion that you need to be this Ivy League economist and this, you know, walking calculator. Uh, but that could not be further from the truth. Um, so, you, you know, I, I think the big thing women can do is just step number one, don't be so intimidated. Uh, because women are already, you know, uh, the other thing, the other side of it is women are wired to be the chief financial officer of the family. Um, they're, they're wired to do better in the financial markets than males are. We see that at the school, Online Trading Academy. How do you suggest women become more comfortable? Well, um, you know, they could start by getting a, a little education. The more education they get, the more they're going to see that they are, uh, again, really wired to do pretty well at this. Let me give you a couple examples. Um, women are better shoppers than males are. Um, and, you know, there's this illusion that how you make money buying and selling anything in life is somehow different from how you make money buying and selling in the financial markets. The reality is that is not the case. How you make money buying and selling anything, if you cut coupons at the grocery store, if you negotiate good deals when you buy a car or what have you, you're already very good at this. Um, again, how you make money buying and selling anything in life is exactly how you make money buying and selling in the financial markets. Women are better planners. Um, so, you know, better planning, better shoppers, and, and a number of other traits, less ego. Women are, are very much wired to do better at this than males. We, you know, we, we've seen a growing trend over the past few years of more and more women coming through our doors. Usually, usually it used to be like, you know, 95% male, 5% female. Today, it's almost 50-50, but the results are what are, are, are more interesting. A much higher percentage of women are successful uh, traders and investors out of our program than males are. Males do fine, but, uh, but when you look at the percentages, the women tend to do better. You mentioned before that women do like to shop. I'm sure a lot of women have racked up quite a bit of debt on their credit cards. What advice do you have for women to take control of that situation? Yeah, you know, it seems to be all about the shoes. Um, <laughs> they, I think if they could just cut out the shoes, or, or uh, they'd be they'd be okay. But uh, you know, that just comes down to that just comes down to discipline, and and uh, it, it's really all about discipline. And discipline is the key to successfully successful trading and investing. Discipline is the key to keeping that that credit card debt down. But to kind of take that one step further. Uh, you know, people have credit card debt because they don't, they lack disposable income. So I think it really starts with proper choices in the financial markets. Learning a rule based strategy that allows an investor to attain the rate of return that they're look, that they need. Uh, learning the trading skills, the trading strategies that an active trader needs to, um, you know, produce income. It's, it's interesting. I was just thinking a, a couple weeks ago, uh, in our graduate program, which is online, where we're trading with our students, um, there was a there was a woman in there. It was about 8:30 in the morning, and she typed. Uh, we just had done a couple trades in the program, and she typed into the chat window. She said, "Hey, I just just made my $750. I'm off to take the kids to school." And and I saw that, and you know, there are probably a thousand posts in there that day, but that one jumped out at me. I love seeing that. It, it's a it's a woman who's doing very well, um, following simple rules, and really becoming the chief financial officer of the family. It, it was great to see. I'm glad you said you've taken our kids to school and not to the mall. Thank you so much for your time today, yes. Sam.